Hello and welcome to Soul for today's video, which is my the solution to my video about uh, all numbers being positive. So before I go and tell you what I did wrong, I'd like to clarify some um, misconceptions about the square root. So if we take any positive real number, we know that uh, we can find two solutions to this equation. For instance, if a is 9, there are two solutions, namely 3 and minus 3. So 9, like any positive number, has two different square roots. So technically, speaking about the square root of a number is uh, not really correct. You should say the square roots of a number. But that's where it gets intricate. Among those two square roots, there's a positive one and a negative one. The positive one is also called the principal square root. And mathematicians have developed a function called the principal square root function that you know because uh, the notation of this function is uh, nowadays written with this symbol which is called radix and this is the function principal square root and as a function it always has one output which is only one number and of course it is the principal square root which is positive so if you write radix 9 you can say that it is equal and only equal to 3 and not minus 3 that is the difference between the square roots of a number and the function principal square root of a number. Unfortunately for us, we seldom say the function principal square root. We usually say the square root of a number. And that's where things get confusing because now you call two things, two different things, the same way. The square roots of a number and the square root of a number, which is actually the principal square root of a number, which is the positive among the square roots of a number. Anyway, when you use the radix notation, there's only one outcome, one output, which is the positive one. What about a number to the power of a half? Well, if you take a number and put it to the power of a half, like I did in my video, you are actually doing exactly the same as doing the function principal square root. So, if you take a number and put it to the half, you are actually doing exactly the same as taking the principal square root. This is the same function, just another notation without the symbol radix. But in both cases, you have only one output which is a positive number. This being cleared up, hopefully. Let's see what I did wrong. Well, what I did wrong is not very, very difficult. Is when I removed the brackets to the exponent. That was the wrong move. Because square root or the power of a half work only for positive numbers. So if I remove the brackets to the exponent, I change the domain where I use the square root or the power of a half. Because before I used the square root of a square num number, which is a positive number, no problem. And suddenly I remove the parentheses or the brackets and then I get the square root of something that could be negative and I don't have the right to do that. So that was the mistake I made. And of course, not all numbers 
are positive in case you were doubting this. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, see you next time for the next video. Bye bye.